Yo, what's up? Slim Cognito here. Want to give you the quick lowdown on the leaks that have just been surfaced through Twitter and Reddit on Division Heartland. The new PvPVE 45 player multiplayer free to play online looter shooter. Now, here's the things. First of all, it's in the closed alpha. Closed alpha meaning that it is not complete in any sense of the word. It's just a stable build that's playable. Even the network code is bad, all right? There was even visible lag in the video itself. Now, I will not show you the video itself because me, myself, even though I did not sign a non-disclosure agreement, I will not show you the video itself because I don't want to be an original source for you to see this leaked footage, all right? So if you want to see that, you're going to have to find it for yourself. Now, good luck with that. But if you do see it, keep in mind that this is an alpha, all right? Now... First thing is slide movement, which is brand new that wasn't in Division 2 as far as I'm told, all right? So you now have your not only your dodge roll, but also your slide. And you still, you know, have your cover shooter mechanics, etc. because that's a staple at this point, all right? Second thing is virus zones on the map. Of course, the gameplay is going to be centered around the fact that the entire area on the map is full of a virus. And those viruses require you to wear a mask while you're out on missions. You have to replace filters in your mask in order to stay out on missions, which is a depletable resource. So once you deplete that resource, you're pretty screwed and you have to manage your remaining filters and actually exfiltrate within time without having your health suffer for it, which is implied in the gameplay. Now, exfiltration is always going to be done by a helicopter as far as I've seen, and you have to call it with a flare gun. Now, as far as I've seen, shooting the flare gun, waiting on the helicopter to arrive, and getting in and leaving takes anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds, it feels like. I want to say about 25 seconds. And another thing is the gameplay is centered around these beacons called Shade Beacons or SHD Beacons. And these beacons, you activate them while you're doing certain alerts and missions that you go out on and whatnot. And activating these beacons actually reveal the map for you and makes things more visible. Because of this, these beacons also work like a little, you know, checkpoint and whatnot because going up to these beacons will remove all of the viral infection that is in your character at that time. It is equipped with antiviral medicine as, is, as it was said in the voice line. So it also can hold on to things like um, it can enable placement of prep items and it's the main you know hub where you can go to complete your alerts but they're all over the map and they're scattered so you know make of that what you will another thing that's interesting is there's a battle pass now this battle pass according to the voiceover from one of the developers during the video said that it is a choice based battle pass we don't know exactly what that means but it seems like it might either mean that you can make a choice in your rewards and it will branch off and go into other rewards or it will be based off of your gameplay choices and then give you different rewards based on that so i'm not sure what choice based really means but either way if it's either one of those two it's very innovative and it's going to be pretty cool so i can't wait there's an antag the antagonists in this game thus far are always referred to as the pilgrims i don't know their backstory what their intentions are where they're going with this or what it's supposed to be but honestly they're just called the pilgrims i don't know it it, it feels wrong to have an antagonist name that but at the same time you know wrong and right subjective whatever you know let's move on one of the survival mechanic tips that you see in the side of the screen when it's giving you the little tips while during gameplay is that it says like i mentioned earlier is keep an eye on your filters condition all of silver creek which is the map is contaminated use filters to avoid getting sick and watch out for heavily contaminated areas heavily contaminated areas implies that these areas are going to wreck your filters if you're just in there fooling around so don't just dick around you know what i mean you you have to maintain this and it's really enforcing that survival aspect and i actually like that a survival mechanic in this type of game can actually be interesting and i wonder if they could have had a more advantageous design with this for the previous game but i haven't played enough division 2 so you all are gonna have to be the ones to tell me about that another thing that i noticed is that the shade beacons are upgradable 
So every time you activate one, it will tell you the amount of radius that is active for, the bandwidth, the information that it's sending, etc., etc. And it has all these stats listed. It also said that it is upgradable and what level that it currently is. So I assume that all of these things can be improved upon and if you so choose to will be proved upon another thing is that when you go back to the hub or base area it seems to be kind of like a uh, an old Chuck E. cheese area with like an arcade and some bright neon lights and and food courts and things like that it looks like they've repurposed the Chuck E. cheese all in all what i've gathered so far is that it is a looter shooter still third person heavy emphasis on the survival gameplay uh from med kit crafting to everything else still a thing and it's 45 players pv pve survival multiplayer free to play so this is ubisoft for you and we'll just have to see what they can give us or what they're willing to give us and hope for the best otherwise this has been me i just I wanted to give y'all that quick lowdown i hope y'all enjoy these little tidbits y'all tell me what you think about it as a person who hasn't played much division i kind of want to get into it now and i would love you guys to give me like some you know info on how to get into it is it worth it going back to the first one i have the first game but i don't have the second if it's worth it please let me know if not <laughs> let me know and yeah and always remember the channel motto all right intentions are the most important actions ain't nothing but loud and words don't mean a damn thing y'all take care of yourselves peace